You're welcome. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, we have 2x squared plus 20x uh, minus y equals negative or equals 53. So the, or equals negative 53. I apologize for that. Now, I'm asking you to write the equation in conic form and identify the vertex focus in the directrix. OK? This is what I'm asking you guys to do. So what you guys are going to do in this case is, again, we want the equation to look like we want the equation to be in this format. Now, I know x is squared, so it needs to look like this. Um, x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Do those look like they're in the same form? No. So what you'll want to do in this case is, hello. You don't, um, card, I just put it on that back thing. Um, what you guys like to do in this case is, if you guys notice, x is on one side, y's are on the other side, correct? OK. So why don't we go ahead and get that on the same case as well, right? And that, remember that 4p is basically a number. So let's get whatever variable is squared, we'll put them on one side. And whatever the other one's on, we'll put on the other side. So therefore, I have um, 2x squared plus 20x equals y plus 53. Does everybody follow me with that? Huh? Oh, yeah, it still is a negative. Thank you. That was negative over there. I forgot. Missed it. It was a negative 53 in their problem. OK, now over here, we need to write this as a binomial squared. So guess what we need to do? We need to complete the square. But to do that, we have to factor first, that 2. So I factor out the 2. Now I can complete the square like I did before. So Richard, if you want to write this one, this portion down, you can do that. What I'd like you guys to notice here is if you guys look at this equation, notice how on the first, remember that last problem I did? I added and subtracted on the same side, right? And you can do that. When you're writing in vertex form, that's typically how we like to do this. In this problem, I did it a little differently. Rather than adding 25 and subtracting 25 on the same side of the equation, what I decided to do is add 25 on the left side and add 25 on the right side. That's the same thing. Adding on the same sides is the same thing as adding and subtracting on, um, on one side. And then again, though, I'm not really adding 25. I'm adding 25 that's being multiplied by 2. So I need to add 25 over here that's being multiplied by 2. Then I complete the square. So this becomes 2 times x plus 5 squared equals y. 25 times 2 is 50. That's equal to y minus 3. Now again, be careful. Be careful. When you guys look at this problem, Tyler, do we want a coefficient in front of our x squared side? No. So what we need to do is divide by 2 on both sides. Please understand, um, there, therefore, divi dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half, correct? You guys agree with me on that? So therefore, I can write it like this. Now, is this finally in a format that we somewhat understand? Yes. We know that the vertex is negative 5, 3. We know that the value of um, p, we actually don't know the value of p. So we do 4p equals 1 half. Divide by 4, divide by 4. Dividing by a number is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal, correct? So in reality, I could say dividing by 4 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 fourth, which is? 1 8. Now, we look at x, we look at this. This is x squared. So the graph either opens up or down. P is positive, so the graph has to open up. So from the vertex, if you look at my vertex, my vertex is at negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 1, 2, 3. There's my vertex. If I'm going up, I'm going to go up from 3, right? So it'd be 3 and 
1 8th. So my focus is 3, I'm sorry, negative 5, because it's negative 5 over, and then 3 and 1 8th. And then my directrix, I would subtract, and that's going to be a horizontal line, which would be x equals or y equals? y equals. And then what's, one, what's 3 minus 1 8th? 2 and 7 eighths. Now, typically, we don't really use mixed numbers as our fractions, but because I'm a little short on time, you guys would convert. I would, we would either use this as an improper fraction um, or we use that as a decimal. Okay, But I'll leave them as mixed numbers for this tutorial. Now, my, what I would like you